Subtotaling is a great tool that can be used in Microsoft Excel. When you've got data, subtotaling allows you to summarize that information. It works on a list of data, so it's got to be continuous, like we've got on the screen here. No breaks are allowed. And we simply use the subtotal tool. The subtotal tool can be found on the data tab, come across to the outline section, and there is the subtotal feature. By clicking this button, it brings up the subtotal dialog box. Now you'll notice there, just move that to one side, you'll notice that Excel automatically selected my list of data. That will only happen if you've got the data selected. If I just cancel the box, what that means is make sure you've got one cell selected in your list of data. It can be any cell or you can select the whole cell range, but that's not necessary. Simply click on one cell and Excel will do the rest for you. So that's data, outline section, subtotal. There we've got the subtotal dialog box. Now what this does is says at each change in, and there's the list of uh, column titles that we've got in our spreadsheet. At each change in, let's choose year. At each change in year, we can do a mathematical function. Let's do sum. So that means add up, at each change in year, add up, and then whatever we've got ticked here, sales. It doesn't have to be sales. We can use any of these fields. We'll leave it at sales and then click OK. What that does, it breaks down your data so that when it finds the end of a continuous list of information, 1999 there, it creates a subtotal and there's a total figure. Now if I scroll down, you'll see this hasn't, hasn't actually worked. We've got the 1999 total, 2001 total, if I just keep scrolling down, 2000, and 1, 2002, and then it's gone back to 1998, and then it's got 2002 again. It hasn't worked, and I'll explain why. First of all, we need to remove these totals. Again, click anywhere on the list of data, go back to the data tab, the outline section, click on the subtotal tool, and then you can remove all. And that removes any subtotaling that's there. So the reason that didn't quite work as I would have liked it is because you've got to remember when Excel is working out the categories, the information has got to be sorted so that all the information about 1999 is in one area. All the information about 2001 is in one section. How do we do that? Simple sort. So you know how to sort anyway. Click on the year uh, column, any bit of the data, and let's just do it an A to Z. And that will sort the data into ascending order. That should work perfectly now. So again, make sure you've got one cell selected. Then select the data tab, cross to outline, and then subtotal. Let's do, at each change in year, add up the amount of sales, then select OK. And there you can see now, there's the subtotal for 1998, 1.1 million. For 1999, the total was 18.04 million. For 2000, there's the subtotal, 2001, etc. So you can see how that's working. And then we've got the grand total at the bottom of 89 million. What that does, it creates a series of groups. It's grouping by year, and we can work with these groups by using this section here. You can see we've got three levels of grouping that we can see. If I select level one, that summarizes everything and only shows the grand total. If I show level two, it just shows you the total for each group, in this case the year. So we've got the total groups for each year there. 
and showing level 3 expands everything up. You can also do that part way. So if I shrink back down to level 2, we might just want to look at the 1999 figures. So we can use the plus sign to expand up that section. There's the 1999 section, the rest of the sections are closed. I can then shrink that section down using the minus sign and expand another section. There's 2002. And collapse that down. Depending on how you are subtotaling, we've subtotaled in columns here, but you could do it in rows. If you do it in rows, then you'll get these uh, outlining section going across the top of your screen. But they would work in exactly the same way. Okay, let's see what else we can do with subtotaling them. Click on the any any bit of data in the uh, list. Go back to the subtotaling button because you can subtotal in more than one way. So we've got to each change in year, add up the sales. I want to add something else in. I also want to do um, an average of the sales. Does again? It doesn't have to be sales. I could have any of these things included in. So we've already got a sum of sales and now I'm adding in an average of sales. Now the important thing here is these tick boxes at the bottom. Currently we've got to tick in replace current subtotals. That means this average will go over the top of our sum totals. They'll no longer exist. I don't want that. I want to see both at the same time. So I need to remove that tick so that it doesn't replace anything. See how that works? It's just a simple tick box. You can also put page breaks between groups if you wanted to spread your data out a bit more. I'm happy with what I've got there. Click on OK. What we have now is a more complex outline system on the left hand side. But if I expand everything up, this time it's level 4, you can see first section 1998 the average for 1998 is there, the total for 1998 is there. If I scroll down, 1999, the average for 1999 is there, the subtotal for 1999 is there. And so on and so forth. And you can obviously expand and collapse those sections as well. Go back and have a look at the subtotal box again. Let's this time, again, at each change in year. I'm leaving that as each change in year because that's the data that we sorted. That's the bit that's all continuous. So I'm leaving that as year. This time, let's do a count. And we'll count not sales, but countries. Again, we don't want to replace the current subtotals. I want to add this information in. Click on OK. This time, more complex again. Let's expand everything up. 1999. What have we got? We've got 16 countries. So we've made sales in 16 countries in 1999. The average sale for those countries was 1.12 million. The total sales for those 16 countries was 18 million. Very simple calculations. There's the count for 2000. Again, 16 countries. The average was 1.13 and the total was 18.1. Okay, I'm just going to remove all those subtotals now and we're back to how we were. If we wanted to group on another section, simply sort on that level. So I'm going to sort on country, A to Z. Now I've got all my countries together and now when I do a subtotal, I can now sort at each change in country. And at each change in country, um, let's have a sales for that country. So I'm just dialing up the options I want. At each change in country, sum the sales. And click OK. And there's the sales for England. And there's the sales for France. So you can see how that is working. It's subtotaling. It's on the data tab, the outline section, and the subtotal icon. And it's simply dialing up your preferences in this box.